<clears throat> Hello, thank you for watching this video. So in this video I'll be doing question 2 of November 2020, Mathematics Paper 1. So question 1 read as follows. So 7x, y and negative 11 and so on is an arithmetic sequence. So determine the values of x and y. So you are given that this is an arithmetic sequence. So you are given, so you are asked to determine the value of x and y. So there are many ways of answering this question. But the, one of the most fundamental one is, but all of them are fundamental, but one I always find to be easy to think of, even though it might it is a bit complex, is using the is using the general uh, term of this, but general principle of this sequence. So you are told that this is an arithmetic sequence. So you know that arithmetic sequence have the common difference. So if you take the, the difference of the consecutive terms, it's always the same and it's D. So you find, if you find the difference between all these terms, this one, x minus 7, y minus x, negative 11 minus y is all going to give you the same term. So that term is called the common difference. So it's the one that I always prefer to use. So let's get going. So what you do is you say, okay, term, term 2 minus term 1 is equal to term 3 minus term 2, which means this difference is called this difference. That's what I'm saying because this is term 1, term 2, term 3 and term 4. So term 2 minus term 1, term 3 minus term 2, it's called term 4 minus term 3, which is equal to term 4 minus term 3. So to do, then the next step is to set up, try to find these values. So uh, you say, OK, all of these terms are equal. So this term is equal to this one, and this one is equal to that one. So term 2 minus term 1 is going to be term 2 minus term 1, which is x minus 7. So you have x minus 7. This is equal to term 3 minus term 2, which is y minus x. Then you simplify this, transpose the x to the other side, and left with minus 7 is equal to y minus x minus x, which is equal to y minus 2x. So you have negative 7 is equal to y minus 2x. So this is your value of d. Oh, no, not this one. Never mind. Then you do the same thing for these two. So term 3 minus term 2 is equal to that. So term 3 is y minus x is equal to negative 11 minus y. So you transpose the y to this side. So what do you have? You have 2y, oh, so you have y, this one, plus that one, y, minus x. So this one was negative to the positive this side. So it's called negative 11. So 2y minus x is equal to negative 11. So you have these two equations. So when you have these two equations, you solve these two equations simultaneously. So, the simultaneous equation that you expected to solve in a grade 12 uh, exam, question paper or question paper, is very difficult compared to this one. This one is a straightforward linear equation. So, let's go and work on that one. So, you, what, what, so we have your y minus 2x is equal to minus 7. So, you have y minus 2x is equal to 7. What is another one? You have uh, another equation is 2y minus x is equal to minus 11. 2y minus x is equal to minus 11. So let's go. So, from here, 
we have equation 1, we have an equation 2. So from this point, we've tried to find the third equation from this first equation. It can be from A, you can solve for X here, it doesn't matter, as long as you know what you're doing. So I'm going to transpose the 2X to the side, so we have Y is equal to, it was negative, it will be positive this side. So it's 2x minus 7. So the next thing is to sum this third equation into the second equation. So you have y equivalent to that. So when you say y, you put this thing here. Right? So let's go. So you have 2y, 2. In the place of y, this y, you place this thing. So it's 2x minus 7 minus x is equal to minus 11. So you simplify. So 4x minus 14 minus x is equal to minus 11. So, so you group these. So we have 4x minus x minus 14 is equal to minus 11. You transpose the 14 to the other side. 4x minus x, this is 3x. Transpose the negative 14 to that side to become positive 14. So you, now you have negative 11 plus 14. This is equal to 3. Then you divide by 3, you divide by 3. So your x is equal to 1. Once you have this, it's easy. It's easy to find y because you're going to go to that third equation and say y is equal to 2x and our x is 1 minus 7 which should be equal to 2. 2 times 1 is 2 minus 7. This is minus 5. So now you have that your x is 1 and your y is minus 5. So your sequence, your original sequence looks like this. It's let me go, let me write it on the other page. Let me write it on the next page. So your original sequence for 2.1, it was it was it was 7, x, y and minus 11 and so on so now you have given 7 and you found your y to your x to be 1 and your y to be minus 5 and your minus 11 and so on so let's find the difference between them and see if it will be the same because we said that the difference between two consecutive terms should be the same so let's say So to do this is T2 minus T1, which is 7, uh, which is 1 minus 7, and negative 5 minus 1, so it's negative 5 minus 1, and then we have negative 11 minus negative 5. So this is negative 6, this here, this is negative 6. And then this is negative 11 plus 5 is also negative 6. So we can be confident and think that we could answer this question correctly because it's giving us the first common difference as we explained at the beginning that we should be having the first common difference. So there are also other ways of answering this question which are much simpler. Uh, but I will not do them now. Uh, let's, stay, let's keep it here. This is the very fundamental one that is easy to follow, especially if you have an idea of what an arithmetic sequence is. Others are a bit tricky, but similar. So, but I choose this one. So I'll stop here for question 2.1. So let's go to question 2.2.